So Kevin, your thoughts on tonight's performance? Um, I thought we played fairly well. Um, I think the boys were absolutely committed to what they asked them to do and um, a couple of moments, you know, lapses in concentration have cost us. There was certainly a period in the second half where I felt the game could have got away from us at 2-0. Um, but, you know, we found a way to, to get ourselves back in it with a good goal and, and at the end there, you know, we, we asked a few questions. But, you know, that's that's why we're champions, you know. We've got to off your cap and say, well done to them for that. And, and then we've got to, you know, dress ourselves and rest and yeah, make sure we're recovered for Thursday evening. It was a positive first half with a couple chances and then it just a bit of a sucker punch towards the end of the, the first half with Queen's Park taking the lead. But a couple positives to definitely take out the first half. Absolutely. Um, you know, Cammy Thompson was excellent and it left back there. Um, you know, we had to make an early substitution, another, you know, Cam Eden coming off a bit of an injury, but, you know, it's, it's, it was a tough one for us tonight, you know, a lot of players injured, and that's no resting people, um, that's no trying to be clever, uh, that's just the harsh reality of where we're at, and, you know, we're getting hit right now, um, and hopefully these, hopefully some of them can recover on Thursday, we don't know where they're at, but, you know, we'll just need to let Kenny get on with that, he's certainly busy, he's earning his crust at the minute. Um, and I say hopefully we can get you know more bodies involved and, and, and more bodies you know back for the for the game on Thursday. And a goal for Sean Heaver, uh, he was rewarded quite well because he set up uh, Dylan Beakey for the shot and then followed in and got his reward. I, I th listen, I thought Dylan Beakey, you know, he tired towards the end, but you know he certainly showed you know he's very capable of um, full of energy, aggression, and being positive. And me, Sean, come on and let the game up there. You know sometimes he does that, and he's just a joy to watch when he's in that kind of mood. Um, but a lot of positives tonight, you know, Chrissy Hamilton's were on again, played right back and I'm, you know, I'm running out of words to praise the wee man, he's just been different class, his attitude's unbelievable and, and he's, you know, he's been a credit to himself and his, his club, so, but aye, no, listen, we're, it's a mini league, it's always been a mini league, the Queen's Park game takes care of itself and, and if we take care of business against Edinburgh, uh, Elgin and Stranra will be in the playoffs, so certainly in our hands, but it's... <laughs> Tell you what, it's tight. It's tight at the top, and, and uh, hopefully we're in the mix. And a uh, full debut for Will Greenhorn as well. Aye, listen, Will's Will's a player that I've always liked. He's been very unfortunate, you know, with, because we're, we're working in a bubble. We're no training an awful lot now, and he's no able to come in and get the benefit of training with some of these players. But I thought tonight, when he only handled himself really well, you know, there's a maturity about Will, and he plays with a good temperament. Never gets too flustered, and I was just—I'm absolutely delighted to give him that opportunity. And hopefully now he can use that as a real springboard, you know, and, and get his still an Albion career. That's that's the first one. But let's hope it's the first one. And only 48 hours until the big match up in Elgin. How do you lift the players back up for uh, Thursday night's game and approach that game as well? I, don't, I, I, don't, I really don't think I'll need to lift them up. You know, I think after Tuesday last week, you know, it was a really sore one against Edinburgh. We went and potentially possibly played one of our best night in the minutes at Ainsley Park. Um, I thought we were dominant from start to finish and, and it's something like that we've got to do again. Um, we're going up, we know Elgin are about, they're a good team, very difficult to beat at home but on our day we are more than capable of beating any team in this league and, and I maintain that, you know, obviously I'm slightly biased <laughs> but we can go up there, we can go up full of confidence, sit in joint second in the league and it's about getting up and just taking care of business. Thanks very much Kevin. Thanks Ben.